Hi, in this video we're going to be discussing the various ways you could access Microsoft Copilot in Windows. So the way you can access it will depend on what version of Windows you are running and what build and that type of thing. Okay, so the first way we're going to talk about is through Microsoft Edge. So if you open up Edge, you'll have your Copilot icon here, which will open up in the sidebar. And then you'll have your options here with some suggestions, uh, your conversation styles, then here's your box here where you could type in your prompts. Then of course you can add an image, add a screenshot, use your voice for your prompts. And there was an option for uploading documents, which they removed because I think they're still working on it. So that should be back hopefully. And then up here you have your plugins and your recent activity. Then you have your compose option here too, if you want to use that rather than a chat. And then up here you have some options for snoozing and to open up the notebook feature, which we did a video on. And open in a new tab. So you could type in your prompt about something on the page, or you could even do something like highlight some text. Then you'll have a copilot icon there to ask copilot. Or you could right click and ask copilot, then it will load the text you highlighted into the prompt box there, and then you could analyze it from there, or ask additional questions based on the text you selected. See, I was automatically finding information based on this paragraph and I didn't have to type anything in there. Okay, and then we have the built-in Windows app here, which will be on your taskbar. And if you don't have it, you could right click, go to taskbar settings, and then you could turn it on there. So right now this computer, let's go to system, and about, this is on 23H2. So let me go over to a different computer real quick. Okay, let me go to the settings on this one here. This is running 24H2, but watch what happens when we go to the taskbar settings. There is no copilot option. Then I'll show you how to get around that in a second. So let's go back to the other computer. Okay, so we're back on the Windows app here. You can see it has some suggestions that you could click on. So of course here you have your prompt box and you have the same add an image, add a screenshot, the microphone. Uh, you have your plugins if you want to turn those on. Then up here you have an option to get to notebook and some settings, but there's only one option for the settings. Okay, so there is the Windows app version. So if you can't use this because you're on 24H2 and Microsoft maybe didn't add this back, or like I said, I'm not sure if they're going to, hopefully they do. So in that case, you could install the Copilot web app from the Microsoft Store. So if you go to the Microsoft Store and search for Copilot, you'll have the Copilot web app, then you could install it by clicking on, the, should say get or install for the button. And then once you have it, you'll be able to open it. It'll also be in your start menu. But let me show you a little bug on this computer. So if I click on Copilot for the web app, it actually opened Google Chrome to the Copilot website. And by the way, you don't need to use Edge for Copilot. You could use Google Chrome or any other browser. Just go to copilot.microsoft.com. But I just wanted to point out this weird little bug that happened on this computer when I tried to use the Copilot web app. All right, so let me go over to a different computer and show you how it's really supposed to work. Okay, so we have the same Copilot web app installed here. So I'll show you that it's on the start menu, like so. Now you notice this looks different than the Windows Copilot software that we saw on the other computer. It doesn't have the suggestions uh, for the conversation styles. You have to pick it from this drop down here. It also doesn't have the screenshot option or the document option. Your plugins and notebook will be down here. So that's okay. You'll have some history here. And if you go to the ellipsis up here, you could pin to the taskbar, the start menu check the app settings. But the weird thing is it opens it in Edge rather than within the app itself. And you have some pin options here, uninstall and that type of thing. 
But if you click on the profile picture, you have some additional settings. So like a secondary place for settings. And if you click on any of them, it'll take you to the settings within the app. So you have your search settings, region, language, chat settings. If you want to do autosave, personalization, if you want to contribute voice clips to Microsoft. And one thing you'll notice too, is you can't get back to the app unless you click on save, whether you've changed something or not. Then you also have appearance settings. If you want to use dark mode, privacy settings, and so on. All right. So as you could see, there are several ways to use Microsoft Copilot. You could use it with an edge on the sidebar. You could use it with any browser. If you go to the Copilot website, you could use the Windows app, depending on what version of Windows you're running. And if you don't have that, you could download the Copilot web app from the Microsoft store. So I would suggest trying out the different versions and then just decide which one works the best for you. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.